Hello, I am so excited to be with you today. I am going to be featuring the silver and gold glimmer paper. The cool thing about this is that it is adhesive bat, so that is a game changer. So I had so much fun playing with this. In fact, you can see that I've got these all cut up into different shapes. Um, I've been using it a lot and I have so many cards to show you. So I'm very excited. We're gonna make a really simple card. This is the card we're gonna be making, but I have a lot of cards. I have even more than I usually do um, to show you. So um, in case I didn't mention it, my name's Karen Slowinski. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I live in Akron, Ohio. So let's get started making this beautiful card. Let's start with the products that you're gonna need today. So the colors of ink that we're going to be using are Granny Apple Green, Garden Green, and Real Red. So very traditional Christmas colors. Let me move this out of the way. And then, of course, you're gonna need your basic white envelope. Then for our card base, we have our shaded spruce. So this is eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give that a crease. So I folded that in half and we'll set that aside. And then you're gonna need two pieces of basic white. These are both four by five and a quarter. One is for the inside of the card and one is for the front of the card. We have two strips of designer series paper. This is called the Joy of Christmas um, designer series paper. It is my favorite Christmas paper that we have this year. So I've just chosen two patterns that look good together. Um, this one is a really pretty one. It's got just the green leaves. There's a couple with wood grains in here, but it is a lovely um, pack of DSP. So we're going to be using those two. Then I have a piece of paper. Um, this is just a small piece. This is about um, three and three quarters by a little over two inches so that we can cut our shape for our uh, label here. And then I have a piece, this is the star of the show, the star of the video, I should say. And this is the gold, or excuse me, silver and gold adhesive backed glimmer paper. This is an online exclusive, so you may not have even noticed it, but um, we do get online exclusives, I think three times a year. Um, and then you can go in there and check it out, but there's some other really good things. So we'll set those apart. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're just going to um, adhere our um, designer series paper. So these are going to go right down the side of our our front panels and it's going to go right to that very edge. In fact, I'm going to turn it up like that so I can make sure that I've gotten it right to that edge. Oops, I slid it around when I lifted it up. All right, and then we're going to add the red strip so I'm just going to add a little bit of adhesive right there. This red, isn't that beautiful? I love that it has texture to it, um, built right into the pattern of the paper. All right, let's slide that down just a smidgen. All right, now we have our glimmer paper. So I'm going to be using um, my banners pick-a-punch. And this does both ways for the banners. And I'm gonna be using it in the way that most often you see. So I'm gonna slide this in. I always do it upside down so I can see where it is. And when I get it right where I want it, then I'm just gonna snip off that little bit. I'll turn it around and we're gonna slide that in. Oh, I caught that little bit of an edge. All right and snip that off. All right, so we have our banner. So like I said, uh, this is adhesive backed. So all we have to do is peel this off and we can stick it down on our card. So I'm gonna just position that right about where I want it and voila. All right, so next we have this and we are going to be using the nested essentials dies. These are great. These are in our new catalog, and I love how they have all these different shapes. You know, we've got these tags, and then we've got these rounded rectangles, which I love, and then this one, which I'm gonna be showing in the next sample that I have for you. But I'm using the second largest, and I'm just gonna go cut that out at my stamp and cut and emboss machine, and I'll be right back. Okay, so there is our label. Um, I'm using two different stamp sets today. I'm using the Christmas Classics, so we're gonna be using this uh, bow here, and we're gonna use some of these greetings. Um, but for the outside of the card, I'm gonna use Joy to You, and I've chosen to say, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. So we're gonna stamp that first. We're gonna stamp that in our real red. 
to get this opened up. All right, going to ink this up nicely. Make sure it didn't catch any of the edges. And that's pretty much going to go right in the middle. Let it sit to absorb a second. Perfect. All right, clean that off. And then we are done with the red for the moment. So we're going to use our bow. And I'm going to start out with some granny apple. And then I'm going to add a little bit of our um, garden green. So I just wanted to put a little bit of this, not too much, but just sort of in the corners to decorate it a little bit. Okay. And I'll clean that, and then we're going to add just a little bit of the garden green here. So it gives it a little bit more dimension. And there we have our beautiful label. So I'll clean that off. And then all we have to do is get our dimensionals and pop this up over our gold um, banner that we have and then we can do our inside and then I can get to showing you all these other fun cards so here this is and I'm just gonna pretty much center that I think I did a little bit better job trimming this one because you see a little bit more of the gold than on my first sample so there's my sample um, so that looks really nice and then we can take our card base and let's pop this up too. So when I pop up a full panel, I do like to give it a little bit more dimensionals because I do not like it to be um, soggy, if you will, in the middle, or saggy, not soggy. Um, so I usually put on about, um, so those are eight dimensionals, I guess. So there's no need to be um, chintzy with dimensionals. There's so many that come in a pack of these. Um, if you take all the time to make a card, you might as well make it really look good. All right, so here we have this. We're just going to center this here. Okay, and now we can decorate our inside. So we have our other white panel. And I have, let me get out my real red. Again, I have a sentiment that says, Tidings of Comfort and Joy. So I'm going to get that stamped in red, and that's going to go up here in the corner. Okay, so that looks beautiful on the inside. Clean that stamp off, and then we can add some more of our leaves. So as I did before, I'm going to start with the granny apple, and I'm just going to put a bunch of these um, coming from the corner of my card and then switch over to my garden green and add just a little bit more there. Oh, that looks so pretty. It's just a little extra touch, but I think it adds just the right amount. So then I can glue this in, and then all we have to do is do our envelope. Oh, I got a little glue on that edge. Wipe that off, okay. So when I'm putting my cards in, I usually go and make the space um, even on these three and then let the fold go where it goes. And there is our beautiful card. And then we might as well do our envelope here. So this one, um, oh, actually, I think I said a different thing. I said happy holidays to you and yours on the inside. I did mine differently. Um, we're going to just put that in the corner of our card. So these are all individual little pieces. So the Happy Holidays and To You and Yours are three different stamp sets. So I just line them all up. So if you're doing mass production, this will save you a lot of time. And then again, we're gonna put some of our branches there, clean it off and just a little bit. There we've decorated our envelope. All right, so let's close these things up. Now that we have our card done, 
I can show you all the other beautiful cards. So I really had a hard time um, this time deciding which one I was going to um, demonstrate. So like I said, here is the one that we made. Um, the one I had done originally, I had the happy holidays to you and yours on the inside. Um, it doesn't really matter. They both look beautiful. So this is our first card. So this is the next card. This card I almost was the one I was going to demonstrate. This one is just so fun. Um, I love this designer series paper. So um, this is called the um, Delightful Floral Designer Series Paper. And I used one of those other designs that was in that die set, die set that I just showed you. And then I used the Charming Sentiments and the Sentiment Silhouettes dies. And in there, they have the um, candles. So that looks really cute. So I did the gold um, and I did the, the stripe pattern and the flame out of the gold. And then I just chose three colors that were in this designer series paper to use as the back of the candle. So here is my um, birthday. Um, wishing you the happiest of birthdays. These are also in that um, die set, which is really fun. They've got a lot of nice little touches in addition to um, the shapes for outlining the words. So I really like that. So here is that card. And then um, I decorated the envelope by using that designer series paper on the flap. All right, oh, this next one. This was actually the very first one that I made. So this one, I used the silver um, and I did that dye to make part of the frothiness of the wave. And I thought this turned out spectacular. So let me get my note off here. So this is from the Waves of Inspiration and the Waves Dyes. And then this is the Azure Afternoon. This is part of that sheer ribbon combo pack. There's three colors in there. And I just did that. And then I did the Happy Birthday. Um, it's the um, Wanted to Say dies with just, it just looks so pretty. So I love having the deeper blue. This is the Blueberry Bushel with the Azure Afternoon. And then there is my envelope. I love, love that one. All right. Oh, actually, you can't see them. So let's get those down a little bit. All right, this very next one, um, it's another Christmas card. And this, again, features some beautiful paper. This is called the Joyful Specialty DSP. And it has gold embossed on it. So it is really um, spectacular paper. And then I used the Noel. And then, here, I saved this so I could show you. Um, I used the Noel. So if you were to take this, um, and cut this out of a square piece of paper. I wasn't really particular when I cut this out because I just cut it with my scissors. But if you were to cut this out, here, let's move it so we can see a little better, with just using a very nice square, and then here is the O centerpiece, you could use what is left over to decorate for another card, and then you could use the stamp. So one thing also I wanted to show you is when I did this, I took... The, I left all the letters in, in this piece. I didn't poke them out. And then when I turned it over, I just peeled off the backing for each of the letters. So this piece was holding them in place, which allowed me to just position it here and get my letters perfectly spaced. So that is a really helpful tip. So remember, two tips. If you cut this out of a nice square, then you can use both the square and the letters. And then when you're peeling it off, just peel off the backs of these letters holding it in place in this piece and then setting it down. That way they'll be perfectly positioned. But here is what the inside of that card looks like. And I did do some heat embossing on this background circle and on the envelope. So that turned out very, very pretty. All right, so this next piece, or this next card I should say, is um, totally different tones here. I used the Earthen Textures, um, or excuse me, Earthen Elegance Designer Series paper for this one. And then this is from the Vellum Basics. So this is a really beautiful set of vellum papers. And to adhere this down, I took a piece that was a little bit wider than this, folded it over, and adhered it to the back so that you don't see any adhesive underneath this. And then I cut out my leaves. These are from the Chic Dyes and I just pasted them around my label. And again, I did some heat embossing with your in my heart and prayers and decorated with a few little gems. 
and then hope you're feeling better soon on the inside and then a piece of that beautiful designer series paper for my envelope uh, this next one is really fun um, this is a shaker card without being a shaker card so this is really um, fun these are um, the uh, what are these called? These are the Gold Celebration Specialty Designer Series Paper, but they're window sheets. Now, the cool thing about it is that they are gold on this side, but if you turn it over, they look like silver on the opposite side. So that's a fun little trick with this, um, these window sheets that are decorated. And then I use the gold to celebrate on top, but it looks like a shaker card. And then these are my um, dies from the Countryside Dies. And then I use some of the stars to decorate that. You're going to be amazing parents. So um, my nephew and niece are about to have their first child. So this is going to them. And that is their envelope. All right, now I've got my last two, which are my favorites. Um, so this one is, um, I did this one with the Cheerful Daisies bundle. And I did it with watercolor paper. And I left some of the inside parts. I didn't poke out all the dots or the inside of my leaves. And then I just colored it with, I used Parakeet Party and Granny Apple Green and Gorgeous Grape and Tahitian Tide and Blueberry Bushel. So I just used a lot of different colors to layer onto these. And then I cut out these with the dyes with the silver and I thought they looked so beautiful. And again, I did some heat embossing here to get my label. And I do have a panel that is dry embossed um, to make this look so elegant. I love, love, love this card. And then I hope your day is filled with joy for the inside. And then on um, my label, I did some of those little daisies that came in the set. And then I just used my sponge daubers to get some of those colors to make a tricolor um, daisy cluster. And now my very favorite one. <laughs> this is so pretty. So this is a die from um, the amazing... Um, what is this called? The Artistic Dies. It goes with the, um, oh, I can't think of the name of the set right now. Um, but anyway, it is a beautiful big leaf. And so I did that out of the silver. And then for this piece, I took a regular piece of paper. So this is just regular paper. This is not um, watercolor paper. And I ink blended it and I started out, you know, in the darker blue. So I did, you know, like blueberry bushel and Azure Afternoon, and I worked my way up to the Berry Burst. And then I sprinkled it with water to get these um, drops and textures in here. And then I cut it out with my deckled rectangles. So I love that. And then I used the Biggest Wish to stamp my happy birthday and matted that. So it's a very simple card, but very striking. And then, so happy to celebrate you. And I used the leaves from Layering Leaves. This is the words from Layering Leaves as well. And I stamped those. Um, on my envelope. So those are my cards. I hope that you've loved them today. And let me know which ones were your favorites, or I should say, which one was your favorite, or if you can't decide, it might be a couple of them. But um, this this designer series paper, this Glimmer uh, self-adhesive is really fun. So it is while supplies last and it's in the online store. So I encourage you to go there. I'll have all the links in the description of my YouTube video and in my blog, which is thepowerofacard.blogspot.com. Thank you so much for watching, being a subscriber, sending me comments, and giving me those thumbs up and likes. I really appreciate that. See you next time.